So say sunrise. Is it sunrise? So you look at all the things that has been happening in the technical difficulties, etc., etc. I've come to a lot of conclusions. And the thing is always happening to you when you're not out there. Oh, 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 oh,
you change, you pray, you don't get it. I'm just saying. So what you trying to say, Apostle Lord, if you're to change people work that sleep, if you're to change people work that sleep, but y'all just still not paying enough to pay the bills? Oh, I got my focus on that. It's a, it's a shame when, when, when COVID, you come to get more money, but you get working at the job. Oh, 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 look, the devil came to his house, I might as well want to pay that for, uh, pay that for Oprah. You get 600, you get 600, you get 600, then you get 600 over there too. Oh, you get a stimulus, you get a stay, you get a stay. Same thing that's for Oprah. He was still fooling you. Because in the seat of this army, you just became irrelevant. Yes. 
for yourself. You might be a man of God. Don't serve God what you would do for someone else. So he didn't call you here just for you. He called you here to be used and be instructed by him. But see, we come in thinking that we are also about sitting around and listening to the pastor. No, it's about God using you that day and God healing you that day and God delivering you that day and God using you to do something about making you relevant. Because today might be the day that you finally became relevant because God knows use you to help somebody else. Because until you can do something for him and do something for people, you are irrelevant. Doesn't matter how many Olympics you win, doesn't matter what president you win. Every president was relevant until they sat down. But God said, I'm going to make myself relevant to you. COVID, now I'm relevant. And we still trying to make him irrelevant. We still running around here trying to make him irrelevant. We still, and nobody said, baby, we just need to, why, we can do Black Lives Matter, but everybody can't take the need for God across the world. And nobody said, let's all take one day of, of, of sounds across the whole world for God. Why don't we take one day at 12 o'clock, everybody across the whole world, get on your knees for God. Let them know he matters. For one day, the whole world is bound out for God for one day. Oh, man. First Corinthians 13. And I'm gonna mess with you about this number 13 business. 13 is not a bad luck number. Now ask me why. Because it was 12 disciples plus Jesus that made 13. So that's the luck. So when people talk about finding the 13th, they playing games. 13 is the, is the number of the marking of people who led the 12. It was 12 plus 1. One was Jesus. Twelve plus one. You okay? Twelve plus one. So something is a bad luck finding the thirteen. When they doing that, that might be the day the miracle will be waiting for you. See y'all well, Friday thirteen. Good. I'm in bust today, fools. I'm gonna get mine today. Friday thirteen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Where you at? Maybe on Friday the thirteenth, everywhere across the whole world. That's the day God decided to release his miracle. But you didn't miss it because you wanted for luck. First Corinthians, first core of in themes, 13, verse 1 to 7. Say, I need to pay my bill. You know, there used to be a song, Can you pay my bill? Can you pay my bill? Oh, my bill. Can you pay my bill? Can you pay my bill? Can you pay my Maybe that's what God's saying to you. Can you pay my bill? Can you pay my automobile? Can you pay and answer my telephone bill? Maybe you should. Because when God calls you, some of y'all need to pass on. You sitting up there and God said, you know you need to go through that zone. So you put on airplane mode. I'm going to run ahead of God right now. That's not been calling you. I don't know how you've been doing that, my friend. It's been us. For you to sit there, you see me when you put the do not disturb button on your phone in front of them. Like, God is stupid. How many of y'all think God is stupid? Say amen. amen. Then you're wrong. <laughs> He's not stupid. You see that? You know, when it dawns on me that everything you do, you can see, I look, I just kept it real. Well, Lord, this is what I'm doing right now. Lord, for real, I'm not even going to act like I'm going to put the button on you. I'm just not answering like I've been doing. <laughs> and people say, well, man, that's going to get you in trouble with God. Those call me a truthful with God because you've been seeing me doing the other way. Right? How many of y'all really truthful with God? So then let's get real with God. Be relevant and pay your bill today. Stop treating God like he's renaissance.
Verse 1. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity, I am become as a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels. In other words, we sit around and we talk about what we're going to do all the time. You know, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. You went to people and said, look, I'm going to do this for you. When I, when, when I get rich, when I get famous, I'm going to do this. When I get blessed, I'm going to do it. And you get blessed, you stood in me. You made this sound, but you had to believe you was going all the way. All the way with it. Had them thinking that you was going all the way. You was going to really do the thing. And when you got that little bit of money, you took off. I hear it all the time. Yeah, Pastor, I'm going to go out here. I'm going to start this business. I'm going to do such and such and when I get this money. I said, okay, the Lord, release that. Let that go, Lord. He said, I am, but you know what they're going to do, right? I know too. So they get it, you get it, and then you quit it. Or you say, you get it, hit it, and quit it. In other words, you keep talking about what you're going to do, but you really don't finish it. You start it, but you don't do what you said you was going to do. God said, now pay your bill. Whatever you told me that you was going to do, I want you to give it to me now. Pay your bill. Be right there and pay your bill. When GT got behind you and I let you get locked up, you owe me pay your bill. You sat there and told me that when you were going to get past these cops, that you were going to do right by me paying your bill. Be 
circumcised. I'm glad I got that because when you came in like that for church, they started wrapping you up like a mummy. And I understand that. You came in, they threw the towel around you. Put you all down there. But you know you had to bring it down some. But just because you brought the dress down some, don't mean your prayers should come down some. Uh-oh. Because every day from now on, when you get up, you better have 
Father says, stop. You ain't paying your bills. You run around trying to pay your bills using prophecy as a means to get paid. Prophecy ain't for you to get paid, man. Am I on Facebook? Good. I hope y'all heard me. Prophecy ain't there for you to get paid or get laid.
So COVID shuts down like a car. It doesn't shut down like a, like a, a microorganism. It shuts down like a mechanical organism. I'm going to leave it there. So if the only thing is it shut down like a machine, because the only thing will shut down a car, cold won't shut down a car, but he will. So what is this for real? Hold on. Hello. Mystery. See, they know these things, but they still can't stop it. Why can't they stop it? Because somewhere down the line, the things that they're doing, there's no sense of giving in it. There's no sense of giving it. There's no sense of charity is giving. They're not feeling sorry for someone. It's giving. So they're not, they, so they're not thinking about giving. They're thinking about getting. That's why they can't figure out the most smallest, minute thing that they need to do. And they thought about what they do to, to give, then the answer will come quick. If you will start thinking more about giving and getting, your answer will come quick. Pay your bill. And until they pay the bill of giving, until they get the humanity in a whole, get to the point where they say, listen, I'm, I'm looking to get this so I can give back to God because we've been taken away from them. I'm going to give all this knowledge I think I have back to you, Lord. I'm going I'm, I'm to give you the honor and glory. I'm going to take it. If you will allow me to do this thing. And when I'm done, I'm going to look to give this to people for people to get better. But they're not doing it because they're worried about how much money they're going to make off this thing. No, that's a mechanical thing to be shut down the same way. All knowledge. You can't get to where you get because you think you know. You're so busy knowing that you, you, you're not giving. What's the issue you know so much, but you're really not giving back to your communities? You're not giving nothing back to God. You're not giving nothing back to God. You're not giving nothing back to God. You are, you're not all that smart. Where do you think you got it from? You think you got it on your own? You know, you're that smart because God gave it to you. But God, God, you are dumb in a box of rocks. When you going to start giving them the credit for that? Oh, ain't no praise on that.
And some of you say, why? Is Dr. Service going quick? Yes. Because the Father still speaks. And we throw up, and this cricket is sitting at the bus and let the cricket say amen. The cricket slowly said amen. The cricket been sitting there all the time up front. Because see, even the cricket got more sense than something off for real. Come on, you know. And if he's still that cricket, no, you just leave him there. See, that's what I'm talking about. Give me a tissue. I don't like this thing. It's not a good one. It's not a good one. It's not a good one. Come on. Here you go. But the way y'all was handled, I don't do that one. I don't do that because he was sitting there. But he wouldn't have been all scared. He wouldn't have moved. He ain't gonna look. After I took him away from y'all, he's sitting on his tissue. He got me from me because I'm a man of water. The Holy Spirit is a real thing. Y'all need to maybe you need to pay the bill so you can get some. I'm just saying, just that quick father shows you something. If y'all would have came after the Lord, just like they know him, man. Because they know, just like the devil knows who's who and who's what. At the end of the day, you've got to be willing to pay your bills to God. Moving on. So he says, it's a lot to remove mountains. Faith is not to remove mountains. How are you going to move a mountain sitting in your house? Verse 3. And God will store all my goods to feed the poor. Uh oh, here it is. So we run around here, we doing good deeds. Oh, I'm gonna feed the poor. Well, stop for a minute. You're not thinking like Father, because ain't that what Pharaoh did? And so God had to take get them away from Pharaoh to get them out there into the desert so he could feed them. But what he was feeding them was to get them to freedom. He wasn't feeding them to keep them in bondage. Thursday night or Tuesday night, 
It was Thursday night. But anyway, so my wife, she said, oh, I want some folders. And I said, you always take my stuff. Why do I need my folders? I can keep my own folders. You not for you. You used up all yours, now you want mine. And then God said this to me, pay your bill. Oh, this was Friday. What he was saying was, yeah, what he was saying to me was, listen, I'll give you plenty of folders. Just let them go. Does it really matter? If I gave it to you as a wife, that's your responsibility to just let them get what she needs. As long as it's not anything that's taking you away from me or that's not interfering with my stuff. See, y'all ain't heard what I just said. See, it can happen on small things. What small things are you not letting go for somebody else just simply because? How many pairs of shoes you hold on simply because? I'm leaving the building on that one. I don't hold on stuff. I let stuff go. And though I bestow my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it me nothing. So you can sit here, you can work for God, and you can claim God all you want. But if you are still not understanding that you are paying your bill, and you are being relevant in it, it means nothing. Every time you do something for God, it makes you relevant. But when you don't do anything for God, it makes you irrelevant. You have to become relevant now in this time. God is looking for his relevant people that's willing to pay the bill. So you want to be a ball, ball of shot caller? Be a ball of ball, shot caller and God pay the bill. See, see, I love the ball out for God. All our balls out for God. I go out there and be like, you want one of them? No, God, God sent me, let me to do this. Here, go get that. And why get that? Get that. Put that on there. Too. How about that? And maybe you don't do that over there. Too. How about that? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See, I ball out for God. And then if God, if you say, okay, well, God, I really need something so and so. for somebody says, I'm not just going to give that little piece. I'll give you that. I'll give you this over here. I'm going to do that over there. I'm going to ball out for God. I ball out for God. I pay my bill. See, that's why you get to go. You just don't even want to go to the five star restaurant and you don't want to pay your bill and give a tip. Uh oh, I'm talking to you. Charity suffers long and is kind. Oh, Lord, help me with this one. You took this long. Y'all don't want to suffer with nothing for nobody else. You don't want to suffer with nothing with nobody else and nothing going on with somebody else. It ain't you, you ain't suffering. And you only want to suffer with you. Lord, come on and fix this right now, right now. When you say, I ask you to fix something right now, you can do it right now. But you want me to do it right now. I ask you to go do something right now. But you want it right now. You want it right now. You don't want it. So I don't suffer you and your pastor. But you don't want to suffer up with your body.
So I'm talking about them touch my keyboard. He acting all crazy with it. So mess. He doing the most. You know that, right? <laughs>
way you want to walk across the road. God, you use no power. I'm rich! Hey, y'all, what do you say? Who you talking about? I'm getting ready to get you that Rolls Royce. Rolly, what? But here's the problem. Oh, wow. I, I gave you a hundred. I didn't fall out of bed. Did you want me to for you? I gave you five. I need 15,000. That's dangerous. You mess me up getting both of them cars. You done pissed me off taking both of them cars. That's still mine. Oh, forget the house. That house, I'm going, it's going to be a business. I'm going to have a, a, a speakeasy and a dog on our air. air, air No, that's somebody that forgot to pay their bill. Because what happened is God will have you in the kitchen of God wash the dishes for that stuff. See, you can't go. But first off, you know, listen, you, you can't get irrelevant because you're trying to make God irrelevant. The only reason why you can do that type of thing is because God is the one that allows you to do it. God gave you the ability to do it. God fixed it so you can have the money. God Y'all better stop getting upset when everybody talks about something to you. 
So what they say? Oh, so somebody tell you did something wrong. You was mad. You so mad. What you mean? What you talking about? I'm proud. Then I want him dead. I'm always by myself. That's why. Hello. You're nasty. Nobody want to be around you. Then you get around people and you, it just, it just, everything makes you upset. Oh, well, you told me about such and such. I said, okay, so did it have to, yeah, but you didn't have to say it. Well, so I'm just supposed to think, hmm. You're easy provoked. God said, pay your bill. If you're going to be in me, he said, stop getting upset about everything all the time. Stop going off on everybody, everything. Go off on the devil. You know what he said? Stop being pissed.
got men stealing your man from you. You got to help God get the men back. Woman of God, you got to help. You got to help God get the men back. So you got to start being relevant. Because a lot of these people are going to things that are relevant. That's why they're confused. All they're looking is relevancy. In other words, they get in these mixed relationships because there's a level of relevancy there. It means they are important and they want to do some things, so they, they, they forget the gender for the relevancy. But it's time for us to get relevant. It's time, woman of God, for y'all to actually really start worrying about looking good for your friends. That's You learned this nonsense at an early age. You buy your makeup based on what your girl said, your girlfriend said. You live your life based on what your girls are saying. You do a lot of the things that you do based on what your, your female friends have been put in your head. Mama told you to hide some money on the side, so you figured that was the thing to do. Your girlfriend told you that that, that hair looked good on you, and that's what you put on. And that lipstick looked good, and that's what you're supposed to do. And you're supposed to treat a man somewhat kind of way, and she ain't never had a man since a day in her life, and she's still telling you, and you still listening to her. You go to her for advice when you have a man, and she don't. You listen to what she told you, what you need to do to him. Well, if he did this, I would leave him, but she didn't want to, she ain't leave him for nothing. I'm talking to somebody today. Sometimes you know that God bless you enough to put a relevant man in your life that you should become relevant in that life. But right, right. I'm talking to somebody today. It's time to get relevant. It's time for you to really start really knowing what it's really about. It's not about being a good woman or a good man. It's about being relevant. And being relevant means you only want to get relevancy from God. But you have to pay your bill. You have to be willing to pay your bills to do what it takes in God for God to really do what it takes in you. You got to be willing to do what it takes in God for God to really do what it takes in you. You got to be willing to. You got to be willing to. Pay your bill. Rejoice but not in equity, in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. Let's switch on. See, a lot of y'all are delusional. It's one thing to lie to people. But when you sit there and lie to yourself, you sit there and you look, you see what your life is right now. You see how you live. You know you're not happy with where things are. You know you really don't have the money. You know that you really have a lot of insecurities. But you won't make yourself relevant by just I do go through things sometimes. I don't 
Don't make no difference. 